The kind of people that get into sales are the kind of people that really want to make money. They're motivated, right? They, they go out and meet customers and they drink a lot. I, I don't know why, but in Canada, every salesperson drink a lot. Hello Tom, I know about your success, about your YouTube channel. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more. Saludos, Tomas. What's the second most important rule in sales? Khách hàng lớn. 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 I don't hear anything from Hanoi. We know about the bankruptcy rules, right? You run out of money, you go bankrupt, and you, you have to exit the training. So the teams that are not participating now, you need to do it. Okay. Second rule, right? What's the first one? First one. Khách hàng không mua những gì bạn bán. Khách hàng mua là điều bạn bán. Khách hàng không mua những gì bạn bán. Điều khách mua không phải là điều bạn bán. A1, A2, A3. $100. Anybody else? No? Okay. All right. So, is this why you learn the other sales training? No. No. I ask this question no. every time. I ask this question every time. In every sales training, they always say no. That's why I do the training myself because I cannot find any trainer that can teach this. We have trainers in the company, they can teach you product, but they cannot teach you sales because they are not sales. They never have to face customers. And 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 uh, respond and answer their objections. They can't teach you that. We tried. Doesn't work. So if 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 you are going to be top sales, you gotta learn from sales. So I started doing this myself. And I have 30 years of sales experience. And I've I've done sales in Canada, uh, Singapore, now in Vietnam. I managed uh, many different sales teams. Let me tell you, Vietnam is a challenge. It, it's a really big challenge. Because in Canada, salespeople are very, they, they, they motivate themselves. The kind of people that get into sales are the kind of people that really want to make money. They're motivated, right? They, they go out and meet customers and they drink a lot. I, I don't know why, but in Canada, every salesperson drink a lot. And I'm also starting to know our best sales in, in our office, they also drink a lot. Yeah, right? So I don't know what it is. I also drink a lot. I drink like a fish. Tôi uống uống bia như uống cái uống nước như là cá uống nước. Cá. I drink like a cá. Cá. Right. Như cá uống nước vậy. And and, and uh, I don't know the reason, but I do believe that it has something to do with personality. People who drink a lot have a kind of personality that's suitable for sales. I I think that's the reason. They're more more open. They're less shy. They're more brave. More willing to take risks. Right. So so again. These are kind of the qualities you need to have if you want to be top sales. And if, if you're not that, it's okay. Remember, I was a really shy guy with a lot of hair and teeth like this, big glasses. If I can do it, you can do it. Everybody okay? Again, what I teach you, what I teach you is guaranteed to work. Guaranteed to work. Because I know the people that do it, they get results. They make 100 million dollars a month, but they can do more. Uh, today, in the, in the afternoon, I'm gonna tell you how to buy a house, a car, whatever you want, in 12 months or less. Wait for that. It's true, Any, anyone can do it. You don't need to have super high IQ. Let me tell you, people with money, they don't, sometimes don't have very high IQ. But they have common sense. They have common sense. They, they, they can feel, they can sense what the market, what people want, what people like. Okay, common sense is important. And, and working hard is important. All right. There's, there's no, nobody achieve great success by doing nothing, unless you win the lottery, right? But even to win the lottery, you have to go there and buy a ticket, right? You, there's some effort. They say to God, why, why God, you don't let me win the lottery? And then God says, well, you didn't buy a ticket. You did not put in the effort, all right? You didn't put in the effort, all right? So if you want to achieve any level of success, there's got to be effort.